Hello everybody, it's been a while since I did any recording here, right? And that's usually because there's so much noise outside, but for the purposes of what I'm doing today, I figured yeah, I needed a more relaxed space. Uh, we'll be talking about hair specifically, uh, but before I go any further, remember to like, share, continue to watch, always subscribe and leave your comments because that is how the channel grows. Now, have you ever stopped to ponder why there seem to be a surge in the number of Nigerian women that are opting for na the natural hair look? Well, as you can see, I am one of those women. Now, if you take a closer look at my hair, I'm wearing dreadlocks, you know. And dreadlocks, well, let's just say that they've not always had a good reputation, particularly in Nigeria. You find that mine are a bit discolored, particularly at the tips, and that's because of, you know, different attempts at dyeing the hair different colors. I'm a bit crazy like that, but sometimes I get, you know, impatient because you have to dye the hair completely blonde. You have to go completely blonde before you can, you know, put in whatever color you want, and that takes quite a bit of time. Now. For dreadlocks, because the hair is really matted and it's really crocheted in, it takes... The first time I tried bleaching my hair, it took like an entire day. And the hair only went... In fact, I was going for a silver blonde. But it only got to that dingy yellow that's not too nice. And the thing is, I just left it like that for a while because I just didn't have enough time to go and sit down and do it takes hours it takes literally hours upon hours to get your hair to go from one color this dark black that most of us have which is our natural hair to go from that black to anything else and so I, I just didn't have the time I think what I'll do is I'll just go back to conventional black I'll take my time one day walk into a salon and have it dyed black back to my natural state so anyway you might recall that from the 80s and well into the 2000s perming seemed like all the rage in Nigeria and while a good number of women still carry their hair permed many more are gravitating towards unprocessed hair preferring wigs to actually chemically changing the texture of their hair my journey to this place first started about 11 years ago and it was all because I was tired of my hair falling out, scalp challenges and the lack of growth. Not to mention the pain of braiding and all those hours sitting in the salon having to make appointments and so on and so forth. So I started the process of dreading my hair. Then I read somewhere that it had something to do with the Rastafarian lifestyle. And then I stopped, since I do not practice that lifestyle. However, as the years rolled by, I found my chemically altered hair constantly breaking and falling out. I started losing my edges. So I stopped braiding, I cut the hair again, and experimented with a number of other looks before settling on dreadlocks. Again. But this time, I decided to go the whole hog. For one thing, unlike the first time, I looked for someone who really knows how to knot and twist the hair into just the right look. I found that person in Olumide Shotikari, a hairdresser based in Kuje, right here in Abuja. Now, um, what the washing of the hair, is, I think it's one of the um, advantages of having locks on. Having locks on. Like you tend to wash your hair regularly compared to you can wash it, you can wash your hair at, at any time. You know, I think that's one of the things that makes lock dreadlocks, you know. So you can wash the hair, you can wash your hair at any time. It doesn't have it doesn't require maybe one thing. Or maybe probably you can just you can, um at the first stage at the first stage of locking, um, it's usually advisable not to wash every day. Maybe let's say um once in a week like so that's for fresh dreads yeah or fresh locks yes lumi as he prefers to be called usually does my hair for me at home but he has his salon 
He also recently earned an award presented to him by the Kujie Area Council Administration. But I digress. Now, there are different ways of achieving dreadlocks, including just rolling the hair. But I wanted mine to look as authentic as possible. So I was lucky, I went on Facebook, I made a few inquiries, and somebody suggested him. And since then, he has been the person managing my locks for me. So, but you see, dreadlocks have not always had a good reputation, especially here in Nigeria. Have you ever had encounters with the police? Because young men complain that they are profiled for, car for wearing dreadlocks. What has been your experience? Uh, my experience with them, like I say, I've never really had any big issue with them because when they come, they're doing their job, they ask you, this, this, what do you do? And normally, like where I grew up, when you're going anywhere, you have to have an ID card with you. You understand? They're talking, you bring your ID card, show them. Here, they don't have that technology like in America. My ID card, when I give you my driving license, it show all my profile, show who I am and whatever. But here, at the same time, we still have an ID. When they say, okay, where, if you're working in any prostata, you show them your ID. They know about that, okay, yeah. Okay, this is okay, you're working, go. But in the situation that they stop you, you're carrying dread, they, the moment that they stop your car, you roll down, all the cars smelling weed, automatically. You understand? Even though you are not the one smoking, and the person that have low cost that is in back is the one smoking, but automatically the attention is on you because you carry dread. Do people have a better acceptance of the look nowadays? I see them all well. around. Anyone I see with drug law, I don't regard the person as a gentle person. Uh, I don't see it depicting anything negative, right? People choose to dress the way they like. It doesn't make one look responsible. I don't have an issue with dreadlocks. I don't have anything against dreadlocks. So long as the society around them accepts that kind of dressing, then I don't think it's an issue. Mm, there's nothing bad in having dreadlocks, you know. Um, like when somebody have dreadlocks, it's a, it's a hereditary, you know, sometimes it's from the family. It's from the family. Okay, so... Clearly, opinions are divided. Sonny, an entertainer and entrepreneur, says he was born with his. He also shares his thoughts about superstitious beliefs associated with dreadlocks in Nigeria. Yeah, you know, like what I say, I'm half Yoruba. So, and uh, when you're born as a dada, like you have a natural dread, before the first time before you can cut it off you have to be a lot of sacrifice that you have to be done for you to cut because if your parents just cut it you may end up falling sick back to back headache and all those things but if you do the normal procedure according to what it was made from our ancestors so you won't have problem he has also experienced the share of embarrassing moments as a result of his long locks I met a, a girl that actually like she's from Igbo. Okay. You understand? But the dad is a king from one in Nugo or Nambra or something like that. Yeah. But because of my dread, it was saying story. And it's not so. because he was a king, believe me. He's just the default. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so it's so like, yeah, he was yeah, telling yeah, me to cut like, my hair. No, I'm not. So they asked you to, if you yeah, cut it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not cutting it. I'm not cutting it. Sonny's intended father in law might sound harsh to you. But when we spoke to the public, many Nigerians shared the same view. Most respondents said they would not let their daughter marry a man wearing dreadlocks. I did not like that kind of man. I would not allow her to marry that kind of man. <laughs> I, I did not like that kind of head. I will not be comfortable with that because I was not brought in that. I was not brought up. In that way, you understand? Just that times have changed, and the young ones have embraced it, fully embraced it, you know, foreign culture, you understand? When now you see, you know, boys don't carry their dreadlock, but it's not, you know, an African thing, you understand? So I won't be comfortable, very comfortable with that. I don't like people with it because 
it is it doesn't it does it with it doesn't rest as a as for me I'm a Christian so for that it doesn't look responsible and for a man to leave here like that is not good. I don't see if the love is there I don't see anything wrong about the dreadlocks. So it's very very okay. The the, the real thing there is the person. Is the person has good character? Is he okay? That is all. So, certainly, people have a range of reasons why they lock their hair. For my part, I have found that I can manage the look successfully at home. So all I do is give it a thorough wash, usually with black soap or shampoo, once every two weeks or once a week, depending on need. So it's a, if it has been a very dusty period, or it's been a very sweaty period and things like that, then I'm more likely to do a weekly wash. But when that has not been the case, I wash like once every two weeks. I also condition and then use coconut oil or Indian hemp hair cream, mostly on my scalp and sometimes on the hair directly to give it a healthy sheen. And for the hair, once in a while I use an oil sheen spray also. As you can see, it is somewhat longer now than what you saw in the clips. Those clips were recorded around the first quarter of 2021, I believe. The length might not be that impressive, actually, but that is partly because of how I do mine, which is the crochet method. And also because I have always had full but slow growing hair. So as for me, dreading my hair has certainly freed me from a lot of hair-related stress. I don't know about you, is uh, dreadlocks something you would consider? I'm definitely not marketing dreadlocks, that's not the point. But if you're the kind of person who cherishes the health of your hair and scalp, it should be, you know, a hairstyle that you could consider doing. And apart from that, it's very protective. I haven't had any hair breakage at all since I started dreading my hair. So I definitely want to hear your comments about dreading hair, dreadlocks, what you think about people who dread their hair and so on and so forth. Leave your comments beneath the video here and I'll definitely get back to you. Continue to watch, like, share and subscribe because that is how this channel grows.